This is probably the most important blaster for future blaster design and development. Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another What Am I video. What I got over here is a CS002 from the brand SKD. A pretty well-known brand for its gel blasters. Yes, my friend, finally another gel blaster video. Gotta thank SKD for sending in one of these for today's review. In my point of view, this blaster over here is probably going to be the most important blaster in future design and development. If you guys are interested with one of these, all the necessary information will be provided in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, a buttstock, a drum mag, an orange muzzle, battery and charger, safety goggle, a bag of gels, and a manual. To install the buttstock, align the buttstock with the blaster and push it in place. Next, align the muzzle and twist it in place. The battery compartment is located at the top of the blaster. Open up the cover, connect the battery, put the battery in, and close the cover. Open up the loading bay, pour in the gels, put in the mag, prime the blaster, and this is how the blaster looks looks like with everything installed. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, the aesthetic of the blaster itself looks pretty futuristic, pretty sci-fi. It looks like one of those Pulse rifle. A really big fan of the color scheme over here. I like the touch of orange on the uh, bluish green body, a little bit of gray over here. And if you guys already noticed that the shades of bluish green of this blaster kind of looks like one of those bluish green on the Harrier. If you guys are watching this video or are into foam flinging, definitely heard of the worker Harrier before. All right, back to the blaster. At the beginning of the video, I do mention that this is going to be uh, the most important blaster for future gel blaster development. One of the main reason is the design itself. Like most gel blaster, you know, kind of looks like the real deal. I mean, the real steel counterparts, which is of course bad for certain countries. For example, Malaysia and Australia, and maybe some other countries as well. It is very true that you can still find like really toyish looking gel blasters out there that doesn't look like a real firearm. But usually those category of blaster don't really perform like they are replica real steel gel blaster counterparts. Apart, and this is where this blaster came into play. It doesn't look like a real firearm, similar performance and mountability compared to their real steel replica counterparts, and most importantly, build quality, which is the topic that we are going to talk about right now. Even though that the entire blaster is made out of plastic, this is a very solid plastic. It's not like one of those toy plastic that we used to see on like those uh, toyish foam dot blaster that I used to review. This is like, like serious quality plastic. I mean, you can really tell from squeezing the blaster, you don't really get too much of a plastic squeaking noise from it. It gives the blaster a very solid profile. I mean, the moment when you hold the blaster on hand, you just know that you are holding something very serious even though that it didn't look really serious but you know you kind of felt that and one of my most favorite part of this blaster is the grip of the blaster after holding so many kind of blaster in my blaster career this is probably one of the most comfortable grip that I've ever hold I mean seriously it just fits in perfectly on my hand and most importantly the trigger pull is solid i mean it's great to pull definitely one of those clicky switchy triggers it's not the squishy type but it's more like a tactile type and let us move on to the buttstock the blaster comes with an adjustable buttstock over here the buttstock is of course very comfortable you got plenty of adjustability for this blaster over here i mean that is very long though as for the picatinny roll situation you got a roll of picatinny reel on top of the blaster you got both picatinny reel on both left and right hand side of the blaster you don't have a picatinny roll at the bottom of the blaster because this is actually not a priming handle but a mag priming handle i mean with this over here as your mag prime people can mistakenly think that you're holding like a foam dot blaster i mean this is a great looking shell for a foam dot blaster as well i mean the sensation of pulling this mag prime over here is really high quality i mean it felt really solid though for the iron side, we got a iron side over here. I like that color separation of the iron side. You can actually align the middle of the Picatinny reel with the iron side over here, which is kind of accurate. And then the most important part, a giant 
orange muzzle to show the entire world that this is a toy. But sadly enough, this is not one of those uh, 14 millimeters or 16 millimeters muzzle. So you can't really install like a tracer or something like that. Really high capacity magazine over here. I can say that you can easily put in like at least 500 gelatin in there. I mean, definitely having a drum mag is an advantage, especially you have a second reloading option where you just have to twist this cover over here and you can literally just keep pouring gels and shoot in the same time. Gravity drops works very smoothly. Battery compartment located at the top of the blaster a very big compartment definitely you can put in a very big capacity battery in there if you wanted to like i'm rocking an 11.1 over here yes this blaster can definitely support an 11.1 because this blaster is rocking a gen 8 gearbox in there the gearbox itself is made out of nylon thank god it's not one of those uh, translucent plastic boxes the gears are made out of nylon and the blaster also comes equipped with a 470 motor there's some pretty high blaster over there out of the box I was given another extra set of stronger spring just in case I want to upgrade the blast over here as for the firing mode being a gen 8 gearbox you only have like a full fat auto that's the sound of an 11.1 baby holy moly really like the rate of fire and apparently the blaster also comes with aluminum in a barrel since this is just like a giant empty orange muzzle you can definitely swap out like a longer inner barrel and attach a hop up you see all the enthusiast features are in this toy looking form factor that's what i'm saying man future of blaster and of course that's all the quirks and features of this blaster i will be testing this blaster with the uh, included spring as well as the additional stronger spring so of course without further ado let us go Test the blaster out. To upgrade the spring, first we will have to remove the buttstock, remove three of these screws, and next we will have to remove the spring holder using a screwdriver. You will just have to twist it and pull it out together with the spring. Align the stronger spring, push it back in there, and twist it in place. Okay, okay, we are back guys. So the performance of the blaster, I would say is pretty decent. With the provider spring, I call that the weaker spring, the blaster can go from 198 FPS all the way to 207 FPS. More of a sub 200 FPS blaster. And then with the uh, stronger spring, this blaster can go from 210 FPS all the way to 267 fps and this time it performs like one of those hobby grade blasters and of course being a 200 plus fps blaster hitting a targets in 20 meters is definitely not an issue but since i'm staying in a very small apartment 10 meters is as far as i can get so hitting a target in 10 meters definitely no problem and of course most importantly operating this blaster i did not encounter any jams at all which is a good thing i strongly suggest not to use one of those like colorful or blue color gelat because since this is using like a gen 8 gearbox and more on the higher performance side these weaker blue gelats tends to break pretty easily i strongly suggest you guys get yourself one of those white color milky gels you can easily add on another 10 fps on this blaster and last but not least will this blaster pass us the wall test of course, the blaster will pass us my wall test with flying colors. Come on guys, this thing looks so good. Imagine that SKD actually come up with a nylon version of this. That is going to be pretty epic. So yep, I guess that's all of the blaster so far. I'm enjoying the blaster a lot. If you guys like this video, definitely smash the like button. I'll be posting video every Saturday and once in a while on Wednesday. So do remember to click on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you guys are into TikTok and wanted to see how I speak in other language in TikTok, come and follow me as well. So yep, Gordon's checking out and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Yadios, guys. Yeah.